Right, so get this, okay? Um, I went Christmas shopping today. And while I was out, I thought, you know what? Amazing Spider-Man 968. The second to second to last issue of Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, has had such a cool reaction this week. <clears throat> People saying that they love it, didn't see it coming, were frightened by what happened in it. And me, as a big Spidey fan, <clears throat> really wanted to get in on that. I get the hardcovers. I wait uh, several months for the stories to be collected into the books and then buy them. But I thought, in this instance, if I don't, all these twists that are happening in the last couple of stories will be spoiled for me before I get hold of the book version. So, I bought all the issues to catch up that I have yet to read. Uh, ASM... 692 to 697, uh, the Hobgoblin stuff. Yet to read that, looking forward to reading that. However, I skipped ahead to read 698, the one that everybody's going on about, right? The cover alone is pretty frightening. That, for those who don't know, is Doc Ock. Doc Ock is very unwell and has been dying for a while in the comics. And in the end, at the, um, I think it, is it Ends of the Earth? Uh, Storyline, he was imprisoned in the raft and is being looked after medically. But there he is on the front cover saying Peter Parker. So already the cover, you're like, what? What? You delve in. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to spoil anything in this video. If you want to talk to me about it, talk to me about it on my Facebook group, Chris is Snowy. Uh, or Twitter, Chris is Snowy. If you want to talk spoilers, talk on there. Oh my days. Like, <coughs> if you're a Spider-Man fan, read this. Because it will either make you so delighted because you know that this final story, because this is just a pre this is just the prelude to the final story. The final story is in the next two issues. It will either make you feel so good because you know that Dan Slot, the writer, has really upped his game to bring us an amazing epic last story. Or, it will make you want to chase after him, hunt him down, and beat him to death. <laughs> because it's pretty, like, what happens is, it's bad. There's no way around it. It's, it's terrible, and frightening, and scary, and you need to read it. So if you're an Amazing Spider-Man fan, go and read it Im uh, immediately. If you're not an Amazing Spider-Man fan, or you, you don't know too much about Spidey, and you're like, Chris, I want to know what you're talking about. Uh... Do some revision. Grab some of the recent graphic novels, like uh, <coughs> like Big Time. Start at Big Time. Good place to start. Go out and buy Big Time, the uh, trade paperback. Uh, to those non-comic fans who are like Chris, I thought you were doing daily vlogs about everything. Yeah, today it's about Amazing Spider-Man nine five eight, uh, six nine eight six nine eight. Oh my god! I just read it twice, just to let it sink in. I'm supposed to be uh, doing some revision for a show I'm working on on Monday, but right now I had to just duck out to read that and I, oh, I'm in shock. So, yeah. Spider-Man, ending soon. Tell me what you think if you've read it. If you've not read it, ask me any questions you want. No spoilers here. You want the spoilers, go to Chris is Snowy on Facebook. We'll talk about it there. That's it for today. Back tomorrow with another vlog. Goodbye to you. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, yes, I'm still wearing the same hat. It sticks a little bit. Goodbye.